How's it going ladies and bruces? I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome back to Tyranny. Now today we are going to be exploring the old walls. Man, I've been looking forward to this one. Oh, I love, love running around these old walls. It's so much fun to explore. So let's get into it. Hopefully we can get it all done in this episode. That'd be fantastic. These places are fucking huge though, so it could take a while. Maybe we won't get it done in one go, but we'll see. And hopefully after we're done here we'll have a new spire to our names. So it'll be that much closer to being the ultimate overlord of doom. Which is all I really care about, let's be honest. Look, I just want to be a badass, okay? That's all I want. Is that so much to ask? Realistically, is that so much to ask? Okay, maybe it's a little bit to ask, but still. See, I'm totally not a badass in real life. <laughs> At all. <laughs> not even slightly. Okay, that's on to the next area. I don't want to go there yet. Alright, let's head over here then. This is why they take so long to explore. Because you get running up and you find a thing and you're like, oh look, this is a dead end or this goes into the next area but there's a whole bunch of dead ends we missed on the way here. It's like going through Dark Souls. Except like you've got an overview from an isometric position which makes it a lot easier to tell what I've missed. There's not a lot of Bane here. I would have expected a lot more resistance but... Maybe I killed some in the last episode, I don't really remember. It's been a little while since I played, to be honest. Here. Ah, ah! Stop! Fucking moron. God damn. I guess I gotta take it a little bit slower. They don't stop when they see a trap, they're just like, okay, that's all good. Run through it and get themselves fucked up. There's gonna be Bane from this one, isn't there? Yeah. Considering we just got the selves. Get the shit kicked out of us. This is not a great time to fight Bane. See, we're in uh, pretty nasty shape after that whole trap debacle. But never mind, I think we'll manage. Bane aren't super threatening. I don't know why everyone's so fucking scared of them, they're not that bad. Or are we really that just that much of a badass? That, uh. They just don't seem bad to us. Man, Barrack's tanking like a champ over there. What a champion. Good work, yo. My bedroll calls. <laughs> Where you wanna go to sleep? You lazy fuck. Ooh. Heavy armor. Better check that out. Uh, okay, what do we got? Hmm. Sigil of Teratus, what does that do? Plus 10 control grave light. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I kind of got light stuff on though right now, I kind of want to keep it that way to be honest. Don't want to get too heavy. How do we get over there? Oh, there's a staircase. Limp noodle, how do we, f how do we figure out how to turn that on? Oh, hang on, there's a whole other area we didn't check back here. I, f I remember that from the last episode. We walked straight past it out that way. So I was curious to see what was over there. But there is shit just over here that we haven't checked out. So we'll do that and then we'll move on to the next floor, I suppose? No, we should probably have a nap too. We're really, really wounded. <laughs> and now how safe it is to run around this place as wounded as we are right now. Have a look here. Oh, nice. What is all this? Nice. We got no way over there. Don't know how I missed this last time. Maybe I didn't come over here, I don't know. Ah, oh, campfire stuff! Badass! That's reinforcing the idea that we should probably make camp. Um. Do we make camp then? Alright, let's make camp. Okay, we're all good. Now we're gonna move on to the next floor. And see what happens. Do we look like badasses yet? I feel like we do.
You know when you're running around and 90% of all the clothes everybody's wearing is purple, that you're a badass. That's... That's the rule. <laughs> purple and gold, that's how we're rolling. Especially the two at the front here. Okay. Next floor looks, uh, promising. Cool, cool. Lucky we got all those different coloured stones. Bronze Brotherhood bracers. At worst, I can sell them and make some money. Push the button. Okay, that's that one. Interesting. That's not what I was expecting. But that's cool. Trouble is a we got Bane and dudes in here. Why are they dudes? Are you Bronze Brotherhood? I assume they're Bronze Brotherhood. Dude, there's a lot of these guys. Like, a lot of guys. And for some reason they were fighting each other when I walked in and they were like, actually, let's all team up and fight these guys. Which isn't very fair, I don't think. You did. Okay, he's attacking Bane still. How you guys doing? Barrack. I want to heal yourself up. I don't want you getting injured. We just had a rest, remember? Come kill this one. He's becoming a nuisance. Okay. Thank you. You're very good to me. Right. Ah, oh, fuck, we're wounded. That's what I didn't want. That's exactly what I didn't want. Asshole. That's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Good thing I keep a torsion wrench handy. A torsion wrench. Oh, Jesus. Oh, look, they came from both sides. What aspects? Hey, we leveled up, so we lost our wound anyway. That's badass. That was pretty lucky. You died now. Okay. Mage, stop fighting him head on, you crazy. You're gonna get yourself killed. Can't do that. Why? Dude, stab him. You're stuck. Great. Mage, back up. Everybody rearrange. Man, you guys are dumb sometimes. You guys are straight up dumb sometimes. Bleed out, you little shit. Excellent. Good. Perfect. Right. What is this? Torn piece of parchment. Depicts the sigils of the old world's torch keys. Okay. That sounds like it would be important. Right. Alright, what do we need for the... Uh, bum. Yellow? Score! Didn't even get any maim maimed by any Bane. Man, our mage looks pretty badass. Like his, uh... Stuff. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. Fuck it anyway, alright. What do we got? Skullcracker, I want that. I want a move called Skullcracker. Is that on my hopper? No. Yeah, we'll worry about that later. I've never actually changed my hotbar before. Never had the need. Does that open this what door? Do we have here? Ah, oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> Nearly did it again. That would have been a big old case of ass balls. Again. Look here. Good. I got it. Push this one. Beep. Silent door. Scary. 
Very scary. Who's this guy? What have we here? Apprentice Garrick. Okay. Why are you not hostile? Everybody's hostile. Who the fuck are you? The bloody dirt smeared man cries out when he sees you. Thank the forge tender you found me. We have to get out of here before the scourge comes back. Or the Brotherhood, I'm not sure which scares me more. Slow down, what are you doing here? I was searching the area near the old wall's entrance for unique metals or runes I could use in my crafting. I'm... I'm trying to advance to the next level of my apprenticeship. Impressing forge masters is much harder than it sounds, and Master Lohara is especially demanding. You really need to stand out, and I thought this was my chance. I didn't even know the Bronze Brotherhood were here until some of them showed up. I grabbed a discarded helmet and tried to blend in until I could get away. Their leader thought I was a soldier, who got st stuck away from his post, so he demanded that I return to my duties. I was scared, so he shrugs with defeat. I followed my orders and went inside. As soon as I could get out of sight, I started running to find a way out. There's supposed to be a path to Lethi Lethian's Crossing somewhere. He shakes his head. But that could just be a story. Of course, I got turned around and couldn't find my way back. I barricaded myself in here to keep away from the Bronze Brotherhood patrols and the Scourges roaming around. If you hadn't shown up, it would have only been a matter of time before something found me. What can you tell me about Master Lohara? She's strict, but she makes sure things get done, gets done quickly and efficiently. And like I said, she's almost impossible to impress. I figured if I could find something in here to enhance my work, she'd have to notice me. Now all I'm going to get is a lecture. He looks around, a forlorn expression on his face. That is if I get out of here alive. Please, you can't leave me here. You have to get me out. There are things in here. Bad things. Hungry things. Not to worry. I've cleared the way out for you back to Twin Rivers. You saved my life. Thank you. I never thought I'd make it out of here alive. I promise I'll never enter the old rules again. The garrison spotted me after the first time. But look the other way. Guess it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out on me. You were... Wraps his arms around you, crushing you in a tight embrace. He releases you, makes a small desperate sound and flees into the darkness. See, I'm not so bad. I'm not always a bastard. Sometimes I can be nice, sometimes I can be merciful. A trial of Archons, what's that for? Okay. What have we got here? A Qatar. An Iron Qatar. Okie dokie. Let's see what's further up then. Hope we come across to that Bronze Brotherhood bastard saying I want to kill his ass. Oh, okay. So we got Bane here. Quite a lot of Scourges. And prob ones that are going to pop out of the walls here too by the look of it. Oh well. Let's do it. Like we have a choice. We have to do it. Fuck, there is a lot of them though, holy balls. Tank them, Beric, tank! Tank like nobody's business. It'll level up on Beric, that's good. Come on, kill this fuck. Boom. These scourges are nothing to us. You shitty little red minion bastards. Just because you're all ghostly and ethereal you think you're badasses? Nah, not today. Not today! Oh. Okie dokie, so we gotta level up here for Barrack. And we're gonna pump that into... Hmm... Let's say health, I guess. Alright. Now, what do we got for Sentinel here? Anything awesome? Anything fantabulous? Yeah, we'll just take that one. Defender's Watch 3. Boost defense all round. And we got another one of those I got it. tiny black holes in the body. Ah, uh, we are definitely going to be fighting stuff. Red. To battle. Red was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but fuck, we need the experience anyway. It's free experience. Well, it's not free, I guess, because you know we have to get the shit kicked out of us for it. But even so, 
it is experience that we wouldn't have had otherwise. That's how I uh, justify it anyway. Man, the hammer we've got has got a long as fuck handle. Jesus. Oh, hang on. This lit up. Okay. So we need to hit another one to open the other side, though. Okay, let's hit it again. Uh, let's go yellow. Nope, nothing yellow. Let's go purple. Okay, that's not doing anything anymore. I guess that's not the way to do it. I thought one of these would activate the other switch, but... Oh, we're rubbing! Take charcoal rubbing. Gives you a clear representation of the carved rune. Oh, because we were missing one... Fuck, we were missing one rubbing. And we just got the last one. The last one we needed. Oh my god, that's exciting. I forgot we already had two of the three runes here. I, I want to open this door. Let me in. Holy balls. That's a lot of trap. That's a huge line of trap. Who are you? Okay. Moving up. Oh dear. It's a three-way. The honey in the middle, there's some leeway. Okay. Oh, I assume that's to do with these pieces of paper we picked up, right? These, uh, combined parchment. With the first two parchment pieces you found, you can see a crudely drawn row sigil in the center, citron sigil in the upper left, and amethyst symbol in the upper right. So from left to right, it goes citron, row, amethyst. Okay. Citron, row, I already did row there, just luckily, amethyst. Did that work? Did they do something? Oh, it did. What is this? We've seen the symbol repeatedly with remarkable consistency throughout the place. Since research at Old Walls is forbidden, it is likely the symbol's meaning has been lost to history. Okay. I assume that opened a new door for us that we can use? Somewhere? Man, I love running around the Old Walls. This door's closed as well. What did that open? Anything? I don't know. Oh, there! Duh! Sorry. I want to go through that door. I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to leave anything behind. Especially any loot. I don't want to leave any loot behind. I love loot. In the reflexes. New library research available. Nice. Tasty. Oh, next area. Pokey Smokey. What do we got now? Dead guy? A lot of dead guys around. I don't think the Bronze Brotherhood should have been using this place, to be honest. Because it involves a lot of dead guys everywhere for some reason. Whatever that noise is, it's a little bit intimidating. <laughs> Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, that. That's one of you again. Are you gonna get killed by the monster? I hope so. Uh oh. Hi. Randomon stands before a rolling ball of blue energy. His head seeming to bend and fold as light and shadow fade across his, fight across his face. He wears an expression of pure ecstasy that immediately fades when the bridge retracts. Who interrupts me? He turns and sees you, his expression now one of fury. No! His voice contains equal amounts of authority and petulance. You cannot be here. This is for me, and I will not have you ruin it. How did you make it all the way through? You don't know the secrets of the old walls. 
One of his men hand him something small and green and he slips it into his pocket. You are incredibly tenacious, I'll give you that, but that ends now. You do not belong here. He stomps his foot, its dry slap echoing through the enormous room and reverberating back in a quick patter. You do not belong here. His men involuntarily, involuntarily step back, away from his sudden rage. Just as quickly as it came, his rage subsides and he smiles. But it doesn't quite reach his eyes. But I might as well be yelling curses at the encroaching darkness for all the good it will do me to admonish you. You'll never leave Brotherhood Affairs alone. Never keep out of something you have no business in. Still, I will applaud you. I never expected you would get this far. Who knew when you were throwing me out of my home, taking my world from me, and sentencing me to a life in the wilderness, and these walls, that you would be here to witness my triumph. All I wanted was to keep Lethian's Crossing, to protect it, to keep it safe. I just want to be left alone. But since you clearly have no plans on giving me some peace, you might as well stay for the main course, and trust me, they can't wait to sink their teeth in. Anything you'd like to say before you're torn apart? Point to where you threw the rock, how's your head, Radamon? All you gave me was a mere scratch, certainly nothing to be concerned about. Your little stunt did nothing but make my inevitable triumph feel all the more glorious. Why'd you take the Magebane helm and kidnap Zidenia? They told me to. Radamon points to the glowing sphere and all of the stone structures built in the walls. Once they start killing, they really don't discriminate. Flesh to rend is flesh to rend, you see. He taps his helm. So this will ensure my safety. With the helmet, I can drive them back. They will give me the glory. The chance to have Lethian's crossing is mine alone. He laughs, the sound eerily echoing back in the large chamber. Why Zidenia? To rebuild. We'll need a master of the forge. And who better to take that role than the master of all forges? You're absolutely insane if you think I'll ever work with you. Better yet, why don't you come over here and we'll discuss our plans for rebuilding? Radamon grimaces and touches the purple mark under his eye. What is in that prison? A havoc. Radamon whispers the word, in the throes of renewed ecstasy. A maniacal glint shines in his eyes that grows and ebbs in intensity as the light undulates over his face. Let Kairos send his forces, they won't win. I will raise Lethian's crossing before I let him have it. Before I let you stop me. He looks at you. Dangerously manic light in his eyes. This is my city! I found a lost sage. A subdued glee punctuates his words. He seems strangely agitated, as if he wanted wants to say all the words at once, but is also fighting with himself to keep from saying them. He told me all about it. He sang such beautiful songs for me. You've gone completely insane. What happened? He seems so composed on Iron Hall Trail. Radamon's eyes grow narrow. I'm on the verge of having everything handed to me, only to watch you walk in with the intention of taking it from me, and you begrudge me my emotions. I think I will particularly enjoy watching you die. Radamon's face, Radamon's face glow, grows red. You will not take this from me, he shouts. Lithian Crossing is mine! They told me no one would believe me. They told me I would have to stand alone against the armies. I knew you were all against me. Only the Bane have given me the guidance I need. What did you do to the Sage? Radamon waves a hand dismissively at you. Oh, we intercepted him carrying a stack of books. I don't even know where he was going. But who better than a Sage to ask about local history? He smiles. Glancing to the side, subconsciously licking his upper lip. He told me everything I needed to know to access this place. You don't think the Bane will kill you as soon as you release them? Of course they won't. Radamon looks at you incredulously. The Bane be praised. I have the helmet with their name in it. When I walk, when I walked in wearing it, the prison shook. This will work. This is their will. Do you even know how to release the Havoc? Of course. He shouts and stops his foot again. He shakes his head at you. As if the answer is the most obvious thing in the world. My special sage told me everything. He was very knowledgeable about the old rules in this particular region. And the rumours of a key that could unleash the bane. He didn't want to tell me. I could tell he wanted Kairos to have Lethian's Crossing. But I showed him how wrong that kind of thinking can be. He bites on the tip of his thumb, lost in thought. For a moment, you think he might have forgotten you were in the same room. Then he breaks the silence. He mentioned something about crystals and four points of a compass. But it escapes me now. Frankly, he was singing so loud that I didn't. it didn't seem important at the time. What did the sage mean about four points of a compass? Radamon twiddles his fingers madly against the side of his head as he tries to remember. It had to do with unlocking the old rules. He found the clue in an archive somewhere. It said something about a compass. 
Ah! He fishes into his pocket and produces a torn scrap of vellum. He drew me a diagram. He unfolds the scrap and looks at it with a frown. Of course, this is useless. Torn. You can't read it if it's not all there. He shakes the scrap around. Useless. Any chance you'll give me the torch key you heard when I walked in? He smiles, twisting to the side. So the pocket is out of sight behind him. Tricky, tricky, tricky. You're far too observant for your own good. By the bane, you are a nuisance. He clucks his tongue at you. Give me that crystal now or I'll take it from you. You're welcome to try and take it, fool. But I am the saviour of the Bronze Brotherhood. And your accolades are dust to be trampled under my boot. I was going to watch you torn apart by the bane. But I see now that is my job. They want me to make you their first sacrifice. Radamon lunges to attack. Alright. Guess that's how it's gonna go, huh? Fair enough. Pretty much expected that it was gonna have to go that way. Jeez, he's actually really weak. Usually the bosses are super, super strong. But that Havoc's gonna be nasty. I remember the last Havoc we killed. They're pretty fucking powerful. Kill him already. Sunder this bitch. Okie dokie. Radamon sinks to his knees, coughing. He looks up at you, bloodshot eyes wet with tears. How? Question is half hearted and not really directed at you. How could this happen? I guess your plans didn't work out. They'll die with you. Free gear! Oh, dude! Axe of the first brother, two handed. Dude, I bet that's good as balls. You got the Mage Bane Helm as well. Let's see. Axe of the first brother. Uh, DPS is the same, but this has Arcane Blast and Armor Penetration. Okay, so I can fire magic as well. Well, that's pretty handy. <laughs> that's pretty handy. That's pretty, pretty sweet. That's pretty neat. Mage Bane Helm. Heavy armor. Iron. We're gonna have to put that back though, surely. Like, we can't just wear that. I assume. Alright. We gotta release this havoc, I guess. Four points of a compass or some nonsense. Just like last time, it's trial and error, yo. Okay, so yellow. Ooh. That's nice. But I assume if we get all of them, he'll he'll pop out. So we got yellow, green. Let's go purple. Let's go red. And oh shit! Here we go. I thought all four would have to go first. Alright, kill these weak ones. Jesus fucking Christ. That was nasty. He just fires a barrage of nut nutto fucking barrage of plasma doom. Ow. You're not very nice. I don't think we can be friends. I really don't think that we can be friends. This is not gonna work out. <laughs> This is just not going to work out, I'm sorry. I mean, if you want to make friends, you're going to have to be nicer, I think. That's just how it is, really. Alright. Didn't you die? Didn't I kill you already? Ah, uh, you just disappeared so we couldn't hurt you and we had to fight your minions instead for a while. I see. Will do. That's cool. That's fine. I can deal with that. We're gonna out DPS you. I don't care if you're healing. That's unpleasantly high damage.
That was unpleasantly super, super high damage. Like, holy balls, that was high damage. Come on. We can do this. You two long rangers deal with the bane as they pop in. Oh, dude. That was unpleasant. <laughs> Sunder him, I want him stunned. Yeah, I know we're hurt. But don't panic. We can do this, see? Don't panic. Fuck a duck. That's a lot of pain. Oh, okay. We just killed them all. Jesus Christ, if we we're gonna have to fight all those. We would get the shit kicked out of us. Nice, oh, a recipe. Okey smokey. Right. Well, we haven't done this one yet. I assume this you is purple. See I see? Got the bridge back. See what you see? What did you see? I don't think I did see what you saw. How do we get to Zidenia? Oh, I see. Cool. Actually, we should probably check it around a little bit. Is this the door we came in? I'm not sure that it is. Oh, this is the way back to uh, Lethian's Crossing. Dude. Shortcuts and such. Have we been up here? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's just get to Zidenia, shall we? I just want to keep exploring and I'm running quite late on time here. We'll just grab Zidenia before we pack it in. And whatever's in this chest, because I like chests! What is that? Masterwork. I think that's the first time we've seen a masterwork anything. It's a two-handed too. Like a spear? By the look of it. But the DPS is lower. And recovery's lower too, so... I don't really want that. Kills it in here. Why the fuck would I do that? I'm just, that's just being evil for evil's sake. I mean, I'm evil, but I don't want to be evil for evil's sake. I'm only going to be evil for a reason. Jesus. She rubs the lump on her head. Diabolical ass. He knew he was no match for me on his own. She bows to you. Thank you. You have the gratitude of the forge bound. Of course, Master Zidenia. But I come on behalf of Graven Ash. He wants to meet you. Zidenia nods. As you wish, Fatebinder. You help me, so I will help you. I'll meet with Graven Ash. It will be an honor to speak with him directly after working for him for so long. We already provide weapons and armor for his men. I cannot imagine what else he needs of me. She bows and salutes you. You've shown yourself to be an honorable and trustworthy leader. May the fires of your forge never cool. Yeah, I'm okay. You just don't cross me, and then I won't murder you. That's really the thing. But I tend to be a homicidal maniac if you do cross me. You feel me, dog? We need to go activate the spire as well, but I guess we'll do that in the next episode because we are running on way too long. Alright, hope you guys are enjoying it. In the next one, we'll activate the spire. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.